now that she, you know she's expecting so um are you more sensitive what physically yeah things are more sensitive of course okay he's <laughs> just so do you what do you still feel like yeah like hell know? yeah oh yeah <laughs> even more so now yeah oh no way yeah are you serious yeah of course <laughs> you, get, you get hot yeah. <laughs> purple pickle video. Oh, the purple pickle. Oh, is that why you bought a toy? <laughs> no. <laughs> For those, gonna check out Riri's review. She got her uh, vibrator review. I took it down, review. but I'll put it up oh. again. <laughs> okay. All right. Dear boys, first of all, I'm glad that you guys are able to appreciate my confession session entries. Thank you. It means a lot to me. The reason why I enjoy writing for you guys is because everything is close to my heart and are comprised of real people and events. So that's why it's easy for me to put into words and fragrance of my life to your radio show. My last entry was super hardcore and I've thought maybe I should write about an innocent event in my life but still keeping that sensual twist with my play of words. Listening to some sexy jazz instrumental saxophone music while writing this to really live up my mood. Enjoy. There are some people oh, there are some people who still enjoy innocent sexual stories. Nothing too wild, but if you enjoy submission if you're a girl, and if you enjoy being a dominant if you're a guy, hopefully you can relate to life. this. There is beauty and in innocence. Most people don't see and appreciate this. It's when there is a mystery to someone, not being to see being able to see the obvious because there is always something more to discover. It's when you are in your most pure self. It is when there is freedom from guilt or sin. It's when you know your limitations. You can't be innocent forever and it is something you should treasure. I've mentioned it a couple of times already what happened to me for my first sexual encounter with a guy. After that event, I was questioning the universe. Am I not worthy of being loved? Are all guys just after sex? And so, a month after, I decided to try hooking up on Tinder. It was during that time where Tinder had a type and that there are still a lot of guys which fit my taste. I was able to match with Gail and Afam. <laughs> a foreigner around Manila who was visiting. Oh, is that what it is? I didn't know that either. Yeah. yeah. Around Manila. He's French Peruvian. I was so excited to meet him. We matched a few days after he arrived. He told me which hotel he stayed in Manila, but I didn't want to go there. I was super hesitant. I was so tempted though. Until a week after him convincing me, I finally decided to give it a go. I told him that I have no experience with hooking up and I don't know how things would go. I told him about what happened to me that I was just being a little rebel girl. He told me not to worry about a thing since he'll guide me. The day finally came for my first hookup. He was renting this penthouse unit in BGC. My parents thought that I had school for that day so I left the house with my school uniform on. I brought this red dress with me in order to look presentable once I changed in it. I read that using the color red is a trick when you are going on a date with a guy. I told him that I want our session to be in during the day so that it would be easy for me to go ask for some help if ever the need would arise. While on my way to his place, the only thing that I felt was fear. Fear that I might not be able to make it out alive fear that I'm messing up my life with this decision. As the usual risk taker that I am, I didn't want to back out. Nobody knew, even one best friend of mine, about this decision. So I was really braving, praying that all is well. I arrived at the lobby of the condo and he fetched me there. He was trying to make me comfortable while we were on our way to his unit. I didn't know what to say, even if he seems like a really nice guy. When we arrived inside, I think he noticed that I wasn't relaxed at all, that I seemed so innocent. We sat on the sofa in the living room. He was asking me about myself, and I began asking him some questions as well. 
He told me that I could still back out and leave. He doesn't want to force me to do anything that I'm unsure of. He seemed like a romantic guy and gentleman who won't even dare hurting me. I was allured by him. Boys, I didn't want to leave. His French accent just seemed so sexy. He let me play his video game he created. I showed and told him the stories behind my published thought catalog articles, and then I felt that I was ready to give myself to him. <laughs> While he was sitting beside me, he grabbed my hand slowly while looking at me deeply in the eyes. His hand was slowly going up my arm. I was just looking at his hand, wondering why it felt good. I felt so safe around him. He placed his hand at my nape and then to the back of my ear. We started French kissing, literally. <laughs> I was really enjoying it. He started going on top of me while we were kissing. He was dry humping me. I could remember everything so clearly. I just want to have a taste of him again. He then stopped. Damn. <laughs> he asked me if I was ready and that we would go to the master bedroom. He played some French jazz songs. I couldn't understand them, but indeed, they sounded so sexy. Like they were seducing me more into his control. I love jazz as well, so I was hooked. I didn't know how to do things. Things. He told me that he will be patient with teaching me, most import most especially because it is a fantasy of his to go teach an innocent girl how to do it. I was young and sweet, boys. He taught me how to grab grab it in a sexy manner. How to lick it. How to enjoy it. How to enjoy it from top to bottom. How to, uh, yeah, just <laughs> mm, enjoy it mm -hmm. <laughs> orally. <laughs> yes. Uh, 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 go ahead. Yeah, I uh, was. <laughs> I was able to. I was able to. Uh, Where yeah. To oh, enjoy. I was able to enjoy some throat action. And, and choke from it. Thinking about it right now makes me crave for it some some more since it was my very first lollipop lollipop I ever tasted, literally. Of course, there were times before I was able to satisfy him. And I'm so glad when I was able to make him uh, reach the Malaking <laughs> Titic. Oh! oh! Kaboo. Just by talking to Soldier Boy. Inside of my mouth. <laughs> He then made me lie down on his bed and he started kissing me all around my body <laughs> Chicken. Coach. while slowly removing my clothes. Uh, see, uh, see, French guy uh, started to uh, speak with soldier girl. Oh. You know, one of my favorite <laughs> things uh, <laughs> when I'm at the, the oyster, mm. uh, boy, oyster boy is a... Uh, <laughs> To eat the oyster. Yeah. Pano, pano, <laughs> Some ASMR right there. So you don't do like the... You don't do the quick one? Yeah. You don't chuck it? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. You take your time? I like to... Yeah, because last time I did that, it went straight down the, the wrong hole. <laughs> Oi, I see. Yeah. Yeah. The way he would kiss me, whether through my mouth or... Uh, oh, you mean the Australian French kiss? Yeah. Because it's down under. Yes. Yeah. Was yeah. unremarkable. I loved how he teased me with his. Soldier boy! Mm -hmm. In different areas of my body, most especially with my. Soldier girl! <laughs> <laughs> he got some condoms and placed it on him. And then he was slowly going inside. It was time for, uh, <laughs> time for war, soldier boy was about to meet up with Soldier Girl it was, in battle. <laughs> it was the first time that I actually enjoyed it, most especially with a Soldier uh, Boy. Being so fit and so... Uh, Strong. Yes. I definitely felt like a virgin all over again, most especially because I'm doing it for the first time with a guy with my full consent. 
him going inside of my soul was the best <laughs> thing. <laughs> you know it's serious when a girl... She said soul. Oh, yeah, soul, when she uses that term. <laughs> ...was the best thing, and I couldn't think about anything else. It was so good, and I just didn't want it to end. The way his soul Soldier boy would hit my spot, and... It was heavenly. So heavenly. I finally reached <laughs> her Malaking Chichik. Oh! And he did it as well. We cuddled while we rested, and of course. Isn't that the best, Bunks of Bay? Yeah! me, Bangana Naman. Nakaram the Mong Bumpul to say, what? Ibang Anumua. Ibang Anumua yon, tones. I was so ready for another round. I became a submissive. I let him do whatever he wanted. Damn. I love how he would pull my hair, give me a motorboat, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and suck my tongue and Oy. bite my lips while he was pounding my poor kitty cat. So he's a pounder, huh? I thought things would end only in the bed, and he asked me to go shower with him. So I did. I felt like I was in the movies kissing a guy in the shower. And then he would just carry me and push me against the wall while my legs were wrapped around him. And he's wow. just enjoying being inside of me. I never really thought that we'd have a substantial talk while we were cuddling. We were basically just talking about life. Uh, oh, we just ate out after in this <laughs> nearby restaurant. I was like, what? I was like why did you stop? <laughs> and they're then just, I went... They're really eating. Yes. And then I went home already. We actually had plans of doing it after that day, but unfortunately, he had to leave the country even if he planned to stay for three months. We still talked th through chat until one day, I decided to just end our story with a day one for the books. Your girl had a couple of hookups after this. I wasn't the submissive anymore. I learned how to be the dominant one and stay tuned for those entries. I became obsessed with the sexual world I was eventually a sex addict. Oh. <laughs> quote unquote, here we go with the quote tones. Sky is the limit. This is her quote. Sky is the limit, and you know that you can have what you want, be what you want. The notorious B.I.G. Biggie! Last, he last week it was, it was Pac! Yeah, last, last week it was Pac, now it's Biggie. Yeah. She coach book, na pa kinig, ha? Boy Biggie. Of course, this won't be a farmer girl confession session story without an OG hip hop inspirational life quote. Ha 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 ha! Sige, mo. Sige, Papi Boki. From your sweet and daring gal, Ange. Uh, once again, give give, it, give Coach Buck the inspirational uh, uh, words Begum. from uh, Biggie. Coach words, Buck. Coach Buck, sky's the limit, and you know that you can have what you want and be what you want. Boom! <laughs> Boom! Oh, 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 I love it. Uh, Interesting. Ay, ay, ay. <clears throat> wow. What a story. Thank you very much to uh, Ange, aka Farmer Girl, for uh, yeah, another beautiful entry. <laughs> wow. A lot of uh, people... Coach, uh, how do you find the story? Yeah, yeah, the snow, huh? Pretty mild still. Pretty mild. <laughs> last week it wasn't. That's how we had to tone it down. Yeah, that's why we had to tone it down. It was, uh, it was two X. Week. It was two uh, triple X. It was crazy. She, she forgot to put the filters on, so she said everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She went all out. Uh, email us, boysnightout899 at yahoo.com or radio tablet899 at yahoo.com. If you want to follow Naughty Riri, um, bam! It's <laughs> ria.deluna. R I A dot D E L U N A. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and Will, how can people follow you? I caught up the night, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm not in touch. Just... Will. <laughs> <laughs> That's what JC and I named I've been it. I've all my life. Sorry, what is your quote of the night? Gusto mo ako na. Alam namin ni Okay lang chumuka, wag lang chuchuko. Oh my god. Okay lang chumuka, wag lang chuchuko. Oh my god. Laban, laban. Laban, laban. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget sending your stories radio tablet 899 at yahoo.com. Uh, we're out of here. Add us up, boys night out 899 on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. 
Hey, tomorrow, Thursday. Wow, already? Come on tonight. Thursday. Uh, thank you, Coach Yan, uh, for stopping by. Once again, uh, they can email you, contact you for uh, any, uh, I guess, if they need a coach or any kind of uh, yeah, fitness routine. Fitness no. Pers yeah, personal training. Follow me on Instagram. You're, you're walking along Ortigas. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm Ortigas boy. All right. Uh, it's okay. Coach. Um, so just follow me on Instagram at Yan Rebong Fitness. And uh, Yan is spelled with a J, by the way, guys. So it's a bit confusing. All right. So J A N R E B O N G Fitness. Yep, okay, yep, yep. we're out of here. Ready. Thank you for joining us. Thank uh, you. Stay tuned. It's a uh, jam, uh, the clam jam show uh, coming up next. Uh, so uh, what, what's wrong, Naughty Roots? I'm in the attitude. She either. got caught. caught. Her, her bag wrapped around the seat. Better the bag. <laughs> My name is Slick Rick. My name is Sam Uh Tony, Tony. Good night. Take care. Be good. Bye bye.